So I'm going to be talking about a book that I was really excited to read. It's called Meddling Kids and the author is uh, Edgar Contoro. Now when I was reading the back of this book it just reminded me of like an adult Scooby-Doo mixed with uh, the series Stranger Things from Netflix. It also had an amazing cover that's what uh, drew my eye to it first and I just I was excited to read it and I just wanted to get that nostalgia flowing. I've been a Scooby-Doo fan my whole life and I'll always be a Scooby-Doo fan. So let's get right into it and here's the blurb. The teen detectives, once known as the Blyton Summer Detective Club, are all grown up and haven't seen each other since their fateful final case in 1977. Andy the tomboy is 25 and on the run, wanted in at least two states. Kerry, one-time kid genius and budding biologist, is bartending in New York, working on a serious drinking problem. At least she's got Tim, an excitable descendant of the original canine member of the team. Nate, the horror nerd, has spent the last 13 years in and out of mental institutions and currently resides in an asylum in Arkham. The only friend he still sees is Peter, the handsome jock turned movie star. The problem is Peter's been dead for years. The time has come to uncover the source of their nightmares and return to where it all began in 1977. This time it better not be a man in a mask. The real monsters are waiting. So this book did deliver some Scooby-Doo type feel. Uh, it did have a dog, unfortunately didn't talk, and it did have the whole gang, obviously with different names, but still had kind of the same, same personality traits. Uh, but it tackled more of adult themes. Uh, such as drug use, suicide, addiction, violence and anger problems. So it was a step up there from your cartoon um, version. I've got to say though, um, it was a bit of a disappointment. Um, the theory was good, it just didn't pull it off. The writing was just, it was not good. It just wasn't good. Um, there were parts of the book that was just drawn out. Uh, for example, there's a bar scene and kind of read a little bit like a comic book um, and the pages just didn't keep on turning. If it wasn't for the fact that I've got a bit of OCD around having to finish a book that I've started, I just would have put it down. It just, it, it wasn't, wasn't good. It wasn't for me. I was extremely disappointed. Although it brought back some nostalgia with um, the Scooby-Doo type feel, the writing just wasn't good and I just didn't want to continue it and it was a huge letdown. Oh, such a letdown. I wanted this book to be good. So unfortunately, I'm not going to talk about it for too much longer because um, I just, I don't want to waste my time. Uh, it was such a disappointment. It's only going to get a 0.5 out of 6 Cowbell Stars. Uh, that's pretty shocking. I'm pretty sure out of all the videos I've done so far, this has been the worst rated uh, book that I've reviewed. Um, I don't recommend it. Uh, a great book um, in theory, it just, it wasn't pulled off well at all.